Is this a big circle or a small circle? The answer is it depends. You don't know until you compare it to something else, until you give it a meaning. In a similar way, the stuff that happens in your life, is it good or bad? Is it a big event? Is it a small event? It doesn't take on that until you put some meaning to it. So when stuff, technical term, stuff happens to you, is it a living hell or is it alternatively a classroom that you can learn from? Choice is yours and the meaning of the event is what you put on it. Now, I don't mean to belittle your struggles or challenges. We all have difficulties we go through. And as human beings, we all get stuck in them for some time or the other. The thing is, have you ever noticed things happen where, say at work, a change comes through and one person on one side of you is going, okay, whatever, and they roll with it and they don't even think twice. The other person on the other side is having a nervous breakdown. Same change, same effect on everybody, and yet the meaning that these two people have attributed to it is totally different uh, on, on each side. And so that changes their experience. What I'm talking about is how you can use this to your advantage. If you want to create a lot less struggle and a lot less meh in your life, if stuff's happening anyway, you have a choice on how you respond. Yeah, you acknowledge and notice the, the, the feelings that you have, but then if you need to, you get support, you get counseling, you get coaching, you do what you need to deal with those and then you move forward. There is a choice and, and that's your attitude in how you, how you perceive this. You can see it as a torment that you go through. You can see it as a living hell or at best a purgatory. Or you can look at it as a classroom, a way for you to learn and grow and do better and better and better as you move forward. Viktor Frankl, who wrote Man's Search for Meaning, he survived the Nazi death camps. And he said that the last freedom that you have, that nobody can take from you, is your attitude, is your perspective, is how you see things. Now, I know we all have difficulties, but if someone can survive the concentration camps and come out with that perspective, I think we can do that with the challenges we have in our life. Yes, this stuff happens. If you're overwhelmed, if you've got, the, if you've got all sorts of anxiety and feelings and upset, then you get support. You find a way, at, at the very least, find a friend that you can talk to or reach out for coaching, for counseling, to resolve it and to help you what the other advantage of that, of having that help, is it gets you the perspective so you can step into the classroom and say, okay, what's the opportunity here? What's the opportunity to learn? Now, the, the, to me, there's two ways to look at the world. One is to say, oh my God, I'm a helpless straw in the wind and this tornado is take, carrying me away and I'm helpless and I'm a victim and uh, I can't do anything. Or you can have a sense that at some higher level, you are the one that's created the tornado, or called for the tornado, to take you where you could not otherwise have gone. Sounds pretty, pretty big, pretty complex. It's very much a spiritual perspective, but to me, the first perspective just feels wrong. There's stuff that happened to me that I would not consciously have chosen, but the way I've come to peace with it is to believe that at some higher level, I, myself, a higher entity, whatever, brought me to those places so I could learn, so I could grow, and I would not be who I am today without that. All of those were my classroom, and that's what takes me forward today. That's what lets me choose a life that's got so much more, yeah. And isn't that what you want as well?